One of the hallmarks of cancer is that cancer cells use glucose and sugar carbohydrates as their preferred fuel source. And if you restrict those things from the diet, you'll see in lab animals and also in human studies that these animals not only do better with their cancer treatments, but they also live longer and they live with better life quality. Welcome to Dog Cancer Answers, where we help you help your dog with cancer. Here's your host, James Jacobson. Welcome to Dog Cancer Answers. What is the best food to feed a dog with cancer? Is there a good diet to follow? What type of food do you feed a dog with cancer is a question that we get so much. And Dr. Damian Dressler, co-author of the Dog Cancer Survival Guide, along with oncologist Dr. Sue Ettinger, has written extensively about this very topic. Today, Dr. Dressler takes a question from Linda in Alabama on one of our short Q&A shows. Here's the question. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm calling from Central Alabama. I have a question about my dog, Brutus. He was diagnosed in January with subcutaneous mast cell tumor. He had a surgery for that in January. In March, it came back again and he had to have a surgery. As of last week, we have now discovered he has a round cell tumor and he will have to have surgery next Monday to remove that. My question is, what type of food do I need to feed him? At present, I have been feeding him the Nature's Logic dry dog food, and I cook some vegetables, like green vegetables, to put on his toppers with a little meat. I just did not know what to do to further help him. If you could answer my question, I sure would appreciate it. Dr. Dressler, this is a diet question. Yeah, good question. And it's a really common question, and it's overlooked a lot by veterinarians and oncologists. What do you feed a dog with cancer? One of the hallmarks of cancer is that cancer cells use glucose and sugar carbohydrates as their preferred fuel source. And if you restrict those things from the diet, you'll see in lab animals and also in human studies that these animals not only do better with their cancer treatments, but they also live longer and they live with better life quality. So carbohydrate restriction is really important, even though it's commonly ignored. So one of the big parts of the Dog Cancer Survival Guide, the book that was written for this by myself and Dr. Edinger, is to address diet. And there's a whole recipe in there, all of the different cancer-fighting additives that you can do, all of the home cooking specific instructions, and also comments on commercial foods. But if you were to make a generalization on commercial foods, you want a good quality food that's made with low cooking temperatures. And if you're going to pick between, say, kibble and something else, kibble being dry, crunchy dog food, you probably want to do something else. And that's going to be either canned food or preferably dehydrated food that's cooked under human cooking conditions and low temperatures as well. And it's carbohydrate restricted, low carbs, low grain. That's what you want to do. Um, But there's definitely a lot more information in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide uh, that can help with that. Thank you, Dr. Dressler and Linda. I hope that helps. Diet and what to feed a dog with cancer is such a big topic these days. That's why this season we are going to do several episodes on this very subject. Today was just a quick dive, a quick Q&A from a listener from Linda, but we will be doing a lot more deep dives on this subject because I know it is of interest to so many people. If you would like to download the free dog cancer diet, which Dr. Dressler talked about, it's excerpted from the full dog cancer survival guide book, and you can get the free diet by following the link in the show notes for this episode or by visiting our website at dogcanceranswers.com. And if you don't just want an excerpt, but would like to get the full 500 page book, the publishers have an offer for you. That's because this episode of Dog Cancer Answers is brought to you by the best-selling animal health book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide, full-spectrum treatments to optimize your dog's life quality and longevity by Dr. Damian Dressler, who you've just been hearing from, and Dr. Sue Ettinger, who is a veterinary oncologist in New York. I'm going to tell you how to get the book at a discount because this is such an amazing book that you need to have it. It covers everything that you need to know about conventional veterinary treatments, surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, including how to reduce their side effects. It covers the most effective non-conventional options, including botanical nutraceuticals and supplements, nutrition, 
which we've only scratched the surface of in this talk, and mind-body medicine. The book also will help you analyze the options that you have and develop a specific plan for your own dog based on your dog's type of cancer, your dog's age, your financial budget, and your time constraints, as well as your personality. The book is available wherever fine books are sold, both online and in physical bookstores. It's a 500-page book that has been described as the Bible of dog cancer and offers everything that you need to know to help your dog. But because you're a listener to this show, if you'd like to help support this podcast, and I hope you will, you can get the book right now direct from the publisher and save a few bucks. The website to get it at is dogcancerbook.com. That's dogcancerbook.com. You can either get the paperback or the ebook edition. And if you use this coupon code, this code, when you check out, you will save 10%. The code is podcast. So when you check out, you'll save 10% when you use that code. The website again, dogcancerbook.com. Use the promo code podcast for 10% off. That is our entire Q&A show for today. It's kind of quick. It went by fast. But as I said, we will be doing more episodes on diet and nutrition and what you can do. I hope you will check out the book or at least download the free dog cancer diet to start working that into your own regimen with your dog. If you would like to ask a question for a future episode, you can do that by calling our listener line 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That number is 808-868-3200. That's 808-868-3200. Or of course, you can just visit our website at dogcanceranswers.com. Please subscribe to our show in your favorite podcast application. And don't forget, we do have a private Facebook group, which you can join. The details are on our website at dogcanceranswers.com. I'd like to thank Dr. Damian Dressler for being our guest today. If you'd like to reach to him directly, his website is www.vetinkihei.com. And Kihei is spelled K-I-H-E-I, vetinkihei.com. Until next time, I'm James Jacobson from all of us here at Dog Cancer Answers, I wish you and your dog a warm aloha. Thank you for listening to Dog Cancer Answers. If you'd like to connect, please visit our website at dogcanceranswers.com or call our listener line at 808-868-3200. And here's a friendly reminder that you probably already know. This podcast is provided for informational and educational purposes only. It's not meant to take the place of the advice you receive from your dog's veterinarian. Only veterinarians who examine your dog can give you veterinary advice or diagnose your dog's medical condition. Your reliance on the information you hear on this podcast is solely at your own risk. If your dog has a specific health problem, contact your veterinarian. Also, please keep in mind that veterinary information can change rapidly. Therefore, some information may be out of date. Dog Cancer Answers is a presentation of Maui Media in association with Dog Podcast Network.